What's up YouTube, it's USMC Dipper 19 here and today um, I'm going to be talking about how to get away with dipping in school. Now that's something a lot of people seem to want to know and I'll, I'll share experience with you, you know, I used to do it all the time. A lot of people probably do it, you know, um, I used to love to fucking dip in school. So this works for, you know, college, middle school, high school, hell, even a job if you're not allowed to dip, you know, I don't know a job where you can't be able to dip. But anyway, in case, you know, if you got somebody higher authority than you that doesn't want you dipping and, can, and you can get caught and get in trouble, um, this, all these methods should apply the same way. Okay. If y'all ask, I'm dipping on some Grizzly Wintergreen. <laughs> it's a funny story because I, I started the video a minute ago and I got like six minutes in and then I fucked up the video. So, yeah, my stupidity. So, I'm sorry y'all don't get to see me crack the can and put it in and everything because I, I cracked it on my last video. So, please forgive me for that. But it's some Grizzly Wintergreen. I just now PT'd to my store. It's about five miles. I didn't run the whole way. I ran most of the way and walked. Bought the dip. Then ran most of the way back and walked because I ran up there because, you know, the whole boot camp thing coming up and trying to get in shape for it, better shape. So it works because I had something to go for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, I also bought me Mountain Dew, but anyway, that's off subject. I'm getting off subject as hell. Anyway, all right, on to, on to the subject. Okay, so how to dip in school and get away with it. Well, if you're going to dip in school, first thing I think that you should know is are you heavy or are you skinny? It may sound stupid. But, you know, are you a skinnier person like me, or are you a heavier person? The, the, we, the reason I say that is because your jaws will be fatter or skinnier. If you're like me and you got skinny jaws, it's a lot easier to get caught. See, now if I was to walk into class like this, if I was still in school, I'd get busted and then get in fucking trouble and be, whatever they do, suspend you, ISS, whatever. They used to give us EDS. If you got caught with tobacco for your first offense. But y'all, I've got caught with, with tobacco so many times. I got some crazy stories, you know. I got caught dipping a lot, smoking cigarettes. I couldn't tell you how many times I've been in trouble when I was in school. But anyway, I'm not bragging about it, but you know what I'm saying. But yeah, you know, are you skinnier jaws or bigger jaws? Alright, the second thing is, if you're going to put the dip in, don't do it in class and be an idiot. Because, you know, if you open up the can in class, it's going to smell. And then on top of that, you, you still want to pack it, I'm sure. So, you know, they might hear it being packed. Or, you know, you might have it in your fucking hand. Your finger is about to put it in and the teacher turn around and bust you. I mean, you, just, just don't do it in class. Do this. Go to the bathroom and put it in. And um, the way you can do this is um put it in your pocket but don't make it to where they can see the ring when you're leaving like if you're walking to the front of the class to go out the door and the teacher's up there teaching or something don't let her see it or him or whatever like put it in your pocket and you can like to disguise the ring put your hand in your pocket with it and kind of like you know disguise that ring with your hand and like walk with one hand in your pocket that's what i used to do all the time i mean that's a habit i have anyway even when i don't have dip i walk like that sometimes but that'll work so go to the bathroom to put it in. Alright, another thing is when you get into the bathroom, don't be an idiot and stand in the middle of the bathroom packing it and putting it in. Because if an administrator or a teacher walks in, you're fucked. You're caught. Okay. Go into a stall and don't pack it like this. Alright? Turn it on the side. You hear the difference? You, you can't really hear it like this as much. And it gets the job done just as good as packing it like this. I mean, sometimes I'll sit here and pack it like this when I get a new can for the fuck of it. It gets the job done. So when you put the dip in, okay, do not put it in the front like this, like I got it now. Because it'll leave a, a, a lump and they'll see it. Kind of put a little bit in and push it back as far as you can up here, like into your jaw so you can't see the lump. Now, in school, obviously, you're not going to be able to put huge-ass fucking dips in all the time. So, a way you can do it is if you want to put a huge dip in, put a little bit over here, you know, make a little bit going around like a horseshoe, but just enough to where they don't see the lump. And if you smile, they can't see it on your teeth, okay? And they don't see it in your mouth. Now, once you get the dip in and you've put it back there, you've checked in the mirror, you've done what you got to do, and you don't really see it in your mouth, and you still got it in, and, you know, you're spitting... Spitting. Okay, so you go back to class. <clears throat> There's a few ways you can get away with this. This is where a lot of people get caught is spitting. You can, you know, if it's winter time, like it is now, here or whatever, you can put, you know, a car hard on or a, a jacket and have like a little pocket inside of it. So you can just like 
when the teacher ain't looking and still get away with it. Or, you know, you can have a book bag. Like, I used to do this. I used to have my book bag. You know how they, you know how they had the um, little bottle holders on the sides, the little nets or whatever? Put it in there and turn your book bag away from the teacher and put it down in there. A new, brand new bottle. That way they can't see what's in it. And, you know, when the teacher ain't looking, you know, if you got a class to where the teacher ain't really up moving around a lot, like more of a freedom, kind of chill class, you can just wait until she ain't looking, and then you can, like, you know, spit in it. But, it's always a good idea to have the jacket and have a bottle here to spit. Another thing is, you know, this is another way to do it if you really want to do this. You can get up and, like, go to the trash can and spit if she ain't looking or something or him. Or you can, like, you know, act like you're throwing away some paper and spit. Or, there's a bunch of ways to get away with it. You gotta be smart. You can't spit constantly. You gotta learn to hold your spit in sometimes. So make sure you ain't gonna be talking to the teacher or nothing. You can always gut it, but that's fucking nasty. And it's, it's, it's just nasty. I wouldn't recommend swallowing it. But anyway, so, you know, spitting in a bottle in your jacket. Or, you know, when she ain't looking, sneaking and spitting. Or the best method is if you come back from lunch and you have a milk. You can always, you know... Act like you're drinking the milk, and when you turn it up, spit. Or like, you know, have a Coca-Cola bottle, and where the, I'll show you an example. My Mountain Dew bottle I showed y'all. A Coca-Cola bottle, this is one of the longer Mountain Dew bottles, but a Coca-Cola bottle, like, it has a little label right there. You can get it to where the soda just comes, you drink it until it's barely there. Like, it's just now touching the bottom of this. Like, that. that's how much Coca-Cola left. And then you have all this room to spit without them knowing the difference. So you can act like you're drinking your Coca-Cola and spit. You know, this you got to do stuff like that. It's always a good idea to try these different things out. Um, taking the dip out really ain't that hard. If you feel like you want to take it out, you can always ask to go to the bathroom and take it out. Or you can, like, you know, get up and take it out. Put it in some paper and ball it up and take it out. You know, there's a bunch of ways to do it. But that's how you get away with dipping in school, in a classroom, in the lunchroom. If you want to dip there, like I used to, it's easy because you got, you know, you got milk. You can just like, act like you're drinking a spit. And um, that's the best thing I can tell you all about dipping in school. So that's how you can get away with it. Um, just be smart, you know. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to get away with it sometimes. But at the same time, it's really easy. If you really focus and you try and you and you plan it out as you go or ahead of time, it's a lot easier to do. And you can trust me with that. And y'all, you won't get caught if you do these methods right. I got to the point where I never got caught dipping. My senior year, last year, I was dipping in every single fucking class, y'all. And I, I always got away with it. Never got caught. I was even dipping in classes where I couldn't get up. A class like... For example, a math class when you got to sit there and work and the teacher's always up moving, I was still getting away with it. You just got to, you know, use your mind. With experience, you'll learn. So, good luck, y'all. That's how you get away with dipping in school. Um, take it easy. It's USMC Dipper 19. And keep dipping, y'all.